Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from Wisdom Seekers. If you want to meet to get hold of me, uh, Wisdom Seekers, this is my logo. My website is down. I'm going to see what I can do about it. I just have to find find what out what I'm doing first and, I, and I'm having a little trouble figuring it out. <laughs> so having said that, um, If you want to talk to me, uh, Facebook, you can get me on Facebook, you can get me on YouTube, uh, just, and you can get me on Instagram. I'm not very techy, so it might take me a while to find you, but if you, or if you know me personally, just, just drop me a line. I don't, I love talking to people, no problem. So please feel free. To, and this, again, this is my logo, Wisdom Seekers, and... How about that? So this is for Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn for April 24th, 2023. It's an interesting day. It's all about... I think it's about respect. Respect for yourself. Because the first card I got was the Emperor. And the Emperor often comes up on a really good form of relationship. The emperor by himself could be rigid and uh, non-bending, but with his with his empress, he's he's all that which is positive and good uh, in a, the male form. Okay, so I didn't get the empress, but I did get uh, the queen of wands next to him. So the emperor, it's a day of reconciliation, and I think it's. Three, th two things. First, you reconcile the ma the male energy in yourself, reaffirm the male energy, and for for the for certain part, it'd be women who are coming to grips with that men are different from women, and that's something that most women don't understand honestly, that because they expect a w man to react the same way as a woman would react to what they say and they think and they do. So this is this is twofold tomorrow. It's adjusting to the male energy and in the positive form and it's adjusting for the female as the same to the male energy in a positive form because not only did I get a, the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands symbolizes a cycle ending, cycle beginning of course. So, we, it is time, in my opinion, it is time that men and women work together rather than work against each other. Which means we, under, we try to understand where the other person is coming from. Which means we create a, a two of cups of balance or yin yang energy for this to happen. We allow ourselves to look at, at, a, at a man or a woman from a third party perspective and try to understand who or what they are or where they're coming from. And certain times, of course, men and women will come from a lower vibration and that will, will also be a factor or a higher vibration that will also be a factor in uh, how you react to them. And then I've got the hangman. But in this case, it's not slow down, take your time. This one is, there has been a lot of things happening in the energies to the point where all this is ready to happen. So don't look look at it as, oh gosh, we've got to wait for this. Look at it as it is time. The energy, says, if you look at that, what do your eyes drawn to? is not the hangman but the rainbow behind so the energy of the rainbow the secret of the rainbow is there's gold at the end of the rainbow pot of gold right so having decent relationships between men and women would be a huge pot of gold for society instead of divide and conquer it's we come together and we are are, are good so the next card is the High Priestess. And this will take, for many of us who have had people my age, people, people in their 20s or 
15. They've had relationships with the opposite sex, which hasn't been positive. So we are lo allowing ourselves to move to a higher vibration. We can see from the other side what's happening, right? It's very important that we allow ourselves to see beyond our noses. And that's not something humans generally allow. They have a very narrow viewpoint and they they hold on to it. So open your viewpoint up. What that will give you, it's a it's well this to me is physical abundance, but with a spiritual overtone. The Princess of Pentacles. Why? Because she's surrounded by beauty. Spirituality is beauty. If you allow yourself to be truly spiritual, when we're not going through those damn lessons, right? When we allow ourselves to be spiritual, life is beautiful. And it also affords more abundance. If we can allow ourselves to be cohesive, it will bring in more of more physical abundance uh, because it brings in more spiritual abundance, right? So with that, I'm going to go namaste, namasko. I hope it wasn't too convoluted, by the way. <laughs> but if it was, I apologize. But namaste, namasko. I love you and you I do love. Goodbye.